Well, hello, sunshine. We got a treat for you today. Well, no, actually, we got a treat for me. I'm just going to share it with you. How's that? Uh, we got old Stickers 2.0, Charlie Briscoe's built. Uh, he sent it to me to get dyno tested. Actually, sent me a bar and chain that I could play with a little bit. Uh, so we might, we'll probably do that. Probably put it on a separate video. We'll see how it goes. Uh, he's running L111 oil in it. Uh, that's what he wants to run in this particular saw. So I'm going to mix up a quart batch of that right quick. And we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. This, this is his, uh, this is his 4910, uh, build uh gas and it's like i say his stickers 2.0 um he sent me some other sprockets i got to run on the dyno i got to run with uh three eights i believe it's got a three two five chain on it because he also sent a or it's got a seven two three two five on it i assume because he also sent a three two five eight tooth now are any of you guys as tight as i am that you try to reuse tie straps as zip ties. <laughs> Ad gum it. Heck, being a cheap skin flint farmer, ain't it? Don't let nothing go to waste. Reuse everything you can. Um, anyhow, so let's set that off air and we're going to mix us up a quart of gasoline here. Well, maybe. Might have to get a new syringe. I just pulled the doodads off of that one. That's got a little red armor left in that. We'll push that out. A little bit probably wouldn't hurt it. But he's wanting to run 111, not red armor. I don't have a bit of problem in the world with that. He supplied the oil. So we'll run her. He wants to run 32 to 1, so that's what we're going to do. What we're going to try to do. So in 32 ounces of gas of fuel, we'll need one ounce of this triple stick stuff. Boy, it's purple, isn't it? That purple is all get out. It's thin, of course it's hot out. It's pulling good, pulling easy. There we go, there's half ounce. And there's an ounce. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We'll just make us up a batch 32 to one right quick. I like doing small batches when I'm doing other, playing around with you or doing other stuff no sense in having a gallon of something sitting around i don't care about uh, we'll get this thing gas it fueled up and uh see if she'll start right quick speaking of reusing ties zip ties what do you think of them nice stainless steel funnels Them's the guts out of uh, coffee pot. Them big old industrial coffee pots like you'll have at the uh, big restaurants. They'll throw them whole coffee pots away sometimes. And if you're in the know with somebody, you can get you one of them. Man, they make nice funnels. I got two or three of them. That's how them big percolating uh, coffee pots. Works fine, lasts a long time. 
There you go, there's your be cheap secret for the day. Let's see if we can't put some bar oil in there. Probably spill out all over the place. I'm real good at that. I'll be go to heck. Let's see if she'll fire off. Now, from the looks of things, uh, she may be loud. I don't know. I'm gonna grab my ear earmuffs right quick. Now, I don't know nothing about these. I guess I'll assume up is on. That looks like a choke lever goes back in and you squeeze the trigger so I assume that's a choke lever hopefully it's tuned somewhat close Not getting an RPM reading with this little junk heap. Uh, sound a little fat, which is where I'd run the saw. Uh, sound a little fat. Of course, there's two things. It's cold, and uh, that's a good thing. I, I like running my saws fat. Kind of the bad part about dying on other people's saws you don't know how fat they want to run and how lean you want to run and I'm more of a conservative when it comes to not running lean uh, so let's uh let's get her on dyno way thing Resco built stickers 2.0 did okay on the dyno now i did six runs i think the video was just to the first run where it was really fat um uh, way fat um that's how i received it <clears throat> it was way down uh we a little leaner and then leaner yet we we started settling out around 5.7 7.3 uh uh, this was about the best run. Of course, saw's good and warmed up. It's on the fifth dyno run. A lot of, a lot of times you'll see the first run is the best run. Sometimes it is on mine, but the way I tune it, most often the best runs. Uh, once the saw's warmed up, good. So I think that's a good indication of actual horsepower. Uh, like I say, when you get your best run in there, about the fifth or sixth run, uh, she's doing good. Then I even fatten it up even more again. Uh, but anyhow, we hit uh, 5.73 horsepower, 3.38 foot-pounds of torque. Um, look how high we hit it, uh, about 12,500. We was near peak, uh, so that's, that saw is going to live right in here, uh, cutting uh, 12, 13,000. That's pretty sporty. Uh, there's just a comparison in between 
the blue runs the last one you just seen uh the red line is uh same tune just a little hotter yet <clears throat> and then the green lines the fat run uh you can see even uh so you guys can just look at those charts see what you think um i'm pretty impressed saw uh charlie of course was disappointed he was hoping for a little bit bigger number on it but i think uh 5.73 that ain't nothing to sneeze at for a 50 cc work so uh 